Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install WordPress into on Reclaim. So just go to reclaimhosting.com and click on client area login. This will give you access to your cPanel. Again, which we are using to install WordPress. Go ahead and click cPanel. You're going to click on WordPress. It should be one of the applications here. And from there, you're going to get some options. Uh, we're going to press install this application. And then it's going to ask where you want this to be uploaded to. So you're going to choose your .com. So I'm just going to choose one that I've already got something installed on. And you can choose a directory for this to go into. And I recommend that you just type in the word final because this is going to go in your final this is your final project and so it should go in a final folder you'll see that it will install in your domain slash final and so it won't overwrite your current website but it will go into its own separate folder so you go ahead and scroll down here you're going to want to yeah go ahead accept the final uh, the license agreement accept all that this is where you're going to choose a username something easy that you can remember choose a password that you know you'll remember and give yourself an um, email that way if you lose the password that's where they're going to send it to so and then a website title if you don't even know your final project name yet that's totally fine um, but I'm just going to call this one um, let's see um, owning a pet in college and then you can give the tagline you can don't do that later as well once you're done you're going to press install it's going to take a few seconds but it shouldn't be long as soon as it's done installing it'll take you to a screen where you can log in so what's happening is um, you'll see down here it's installing that database. Uh, it's installing all the WordPress framework onto your website, not just the files, but an uh, entire database. That allows you to add users. It allows um, a language called PHP to work on your site, and it allows um, a lot more than that. So once you are done, you'll see that you have, this is going to be your domain where you're going to see the install and there's the install, it worked, awesome. Then you're gonna see the login. This is where you're gonna actually log into your website. So notice that it's your website.com slash final slash WP admin. This is something that you're gonna need to remember because every time you log in, you're gonna have to log in with WP dash admin. Once you do that, it's gonna take you to the WordPress dashboard. From there, you can choose, you'll see it looks a lot like WordPress that you've used in the past. Uh, if you've never used WordPress before, you might want to familiarize yourself with it using some tutorials that I have that I'm going to send you as well. And um, you've also got, so, so you got posts, pages, appearance, and all these kinds of things. Let's go ahead and click on settings first, set our blog up. This again is where you can change the title. Remember the title is what pops up up in the tab. Notice it says, owning a pet in college, just another WordPress theme. And this is as owning a pet in college just another WordPress theme. So this is where you're going to change your title. And that's obviously very important for search engine optimization. As you scroll down here, you have another chance to update your email address. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to change the time zone to UTC plus 6. That's going to be um, our time zone, central time zone. And our week starts on Sunday, I guess. Uh, so let's change that, save changes. Um, some other things we're going to do to set this up is, let's go ahead and click on Pages, click All Pages. Uh, so you'll see that in one tab, we're here in our dashboard. In another tab, I think it's important to have your website pop up here. And let's go ahead and click on Pages. You've got a, an About page. Let's go ahead and click Add New. And we're going to create a new page. We're going to call it Home. And type in, This is my home page. So this will be the home page of your website. Go ahead and press publish. And 
let's go back to all pages here on the left. You'll see all pages. Now you'll see you have an home and an about. When I refresh my site, it doesn't pop up. It's still pretty much the same website that I had before. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to settings and click on reading. And our front page displays, right now it's displaying our latest posts, but we don't have any posts. This isn't a blog, it's going to be a website. So we're going to make our front page display the home page. If you want a blog page, you can make a new page, call it blog, and then you can make your post page come on that. But we're not going to have a blog for this. And let's go ahead and press save. Once you've done that, you can refresh your browser and you will see that now it says home. This is my home page. Awesome. Okay. So at least you have a home page that works. The next thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and click on appearance and click on themes. Right now we have installed the 2017 theme. This is what WordPress has. It's proprietary. It's built by them. Every year they built a new one. So you have 2015 from last year, 2016. 2017 is very good. It's a great, great theme. You can customize it just by clicking customize. From there you get lots of different options in terms of site identity. You can upload, update your logo there. Um, you can choose whether or not to display that logo or tagline. Um, if you want a site icon, what that means is it's your fave icon up in the top. You'll notice that in lo depending on the website, there'll be a little image up here in the tab. That's what's going to pop up, whatever you upload for your site icon. Uh, let's go back. You can change colors. You can change different themes. Uh, you've got header media. If you want to change the cactus photo to something else, if you want to um, update your own header, or video. This even allows you to create a looping video, kind of like the snowfall example I showed in class. Um, menus, we'll get to that in a second. Widgets, we'll get to that later too. Um, oftentimes web uh, themes will have these theme options. This will give you even more theme options. Uh, so right now you'll see that in your main area you've got two columns. You've got the home on the left here and then it says this is my home page. It's two columns. If you want to change that to one column, you just click one column, save and publish, and now we can refresh the page, and now it's all one big column. I prefer that one personally. Okay, so that's just a way to customize your website, your theme. Um, now, there are tons and tons and tons of different themes. So let's go ahead and click Add New. If you don't want the 2017 theme, there are lots and lots and lots of themes. You can search by popularity, or most recent, or favorites. And so you can just kind of go through here. You can also search by keyword. So if you had one all about um, pets, you can just type in the word pets, or type in the word animals. And it will populate themes that have to do with those topics. Uh, what I recommend doing before you do any of that is to click on the feature filter, though. And what I recommend doing is that you click theme options. That's going to allow you to have extra features within your site. And I think that's pretty much it. But if you want certain custom colors, if you know that you're going to want your own custom colors, uh, your own, you know, I don't know, post formats, uh, things like that, you can search by that as well. You can also search by a certain subject. And that's going to filter out anything that doesn't really belong. So once you click Apply Filters, then only the themes with those filters will pop up. Once you find a theme that you kind of like, you can always preview it before you install it. You can press Preview and it'll show you what it would look like, potentially, on your website. And if you like what you see, I don't see anything here, so uh, let's go ahead and preview this one. There you go. If you like that, I don't, so I'm going to X out of that. Let's try maybe something like this. Let's preview it. Okay, looks pretty decent. And you can press install. I usually rank themes by the number of stars they have. So you'll notice this one only has one out of five stars, so it's probably not that great. Although it might look okay at the start, you probably want to find one that has uh, good reviews and something that has been downloaded quite a bit. So just taking this one for an example, let's um, 
don't see anything popping up there. And then let's try this one, preview it. Okay, it's got a good amount of stars. Let's go ahead and press install. This allows you to basically install that look and feel for your website, and then you have to press activate in order to actually see the changes. Then you can go back to your website and press refresh, and there it is. Okay. So sometimes it might look exactly like the thumbnail, and sometimes it won't look anything like the thumbnail. And so in that case, what you'll have to do is go back to the customize option, and this is where you can get all those extra features again. You can add things like change your menus, change your background colors, and find the theme that might work for what exactly you're doing. This particular theme also has a, a button that says News Buzz because that's the name of the theme. Uh, and I guess it gives you, if you want to buy it, you can email them and buy it and it costs a little bit more. Most themes are free though, um, some do cost money. So take time uh, and find a theme that you like, that you think looks pretty good, and spend time in this customize option and that will let you kind of choose the options that you might want for this thing. And just kind of play with it and see what it looks like. And the next thing that we're going to do uh, is we're going to build your menu. And you'll see right now the home is there, but where's my about page? Let's go ahead and click on menus under appearance. If you click under appearance, there's a button that says menus. Think of this as your navigation. And you'll see that here it's going to ask you for a menu name. And let's just call this main navigation. Okay. From here you can add pages, you can take them away. You'll see I have two home pages, so I probably want to delete one of those. You can go ahead and press remove. And I'm going to press create menu. Once that is done, it's going to ask you where you want it to display, down here at the bottom. It's very important that you choose where it displays. Some themes have footer menus along with the upper navigation but every single theme will have a top primary or a main or it'll be called something similar to this. So go ahead and press save um, and then once you do those things you should be able to refresh and you should be able to see your menu pop up. You can create as many pages as you want. As you make those pages you will always have to go back into your menu and you'll have to add it to the navigation each time. So this is kind of a little quirk of WordPress that as you add new pages, go ahead and let's create a new one. I'm just going to call it History. Press Publish. Notice that it does not pop up in my item list. I'll have to go back to Menus and I'll have to click on History and add it to the menu. And oftentimes themes have drop downs. And what you can do is you can drag your items over to the right just a little bit. And now this history is a child of the about parent. So you'll see that if you do that, if you allow it to indent a little bit and then save it, you'll see that some themes will allow you to create a drop down. And you'll see that's what pops up here. It becomes a drop down. So pretty easy, a lot easier than Bootstrap, I'm sure. But um, it's a great way to start building your website. Um, right off the bat and not have to hand code a whole lot. So um, go ahead and spend time customizing, finding a theme that you like, finding maybe some colors that you might want to add into it, playing around with it, maybe add some pages. And uh, yeah, that's just a little bit about WordPress. And I think that gets you pretty much set for um, you know what we'll cover the next class.